jump on one or two. But um, please, all I ask is that we stay together as a group. It's very, very busy today, as you can appreciate, the day before a match. And um, please don't wander off on your own to the bathroom, etc. Because I am accountable then to security. And that will be the end of your tour, probably, because it's very, very busy today. So we don't want to lose anybody, but we'll have a great time. Okay? Um, please take the photographs while I'm talking. Uh, try not to hold people up, because the quicker we get around certain parts of the tour, the more time I have to spend in the really good parts, um, such as the players' tunnel, uh, the players' dressing room where the shirts are, the players' lounge, and later on we get to sit in the dugouts over there, which is absolutely amazing. So if you bear that in mind, we'll have a wonderful day. We really will. Right. Okay. Welcome to the North Stand. Now this is the lower part of the North Stand. First of all, does anybody know how many the stadium holds? Have a guess. It doesn't matter if you yes sir. <laughs> That's a very good guess. Anybody like to advance? Oh, no, no, it's, he's closer. It's actually, we say 76,000. Is that what you were going to say? Yeah, of course it was. Okay. It's actually 75,823. Okay. But it fluctuates slightly. Hello there. Welcome. Hello. My name's Roy, your tour guide. Welcome. Now, all we said is the stadium holds 76,000. Just, just don't. <coughs> We say 76. Now, 57,000 people have season tickets, which is the largest amount in the country. We're very proud of that. And um, we're currently in the North Stand. Now, this is the North Stand. You can see it's over three tiers, and it's also the largest in Europe. More on that in a moment. But um, how it works is North, East, South, and West. Okay? So the, the Stretford end does get all the West Ham on tickets usually, and that's about it. But it's the it's the Stretford end. Now, this North Stand, the largest in Europe, holds, wait for it, 25,700 in this one stand. That is bigger than quite a lot of clubs hold stadiums. So it's, it's amazing, it really is. It's immense and um, we're very, very proud of it indeed. It's also been given another name recently. Does anyone know that name? Sir Alex Ferguson. The Sir Alex Ferguson stand. Well done. Brilliant. Okay, and rightly so. For the great man's 70th birthday celebrations. Now, um, what else can I tell you? It was completed in 1996, it's over three tiers, and you'll see just how big it is and how immense it is when we stood over there later on. It's absolutely enormous. It's wonderful. Now, the area's in the corner there and there, where it goes up in like a V where it says manunited.com. About four years ago they weren't there. And two things, first of all, the capacity then was only 72,000, I say only, still the largest in the country. But the significant thing, there were gaps in between the stands. <laughs> in between the north and the east, and the north and the west. There were gaps in between. So we decided to fill in the gaps and add 4,000 extra seats. 2,000 on that side, 2,000 on that side. Now those areas are known as the quadrants, and I'm sure you'll agree, it's a wonderful job. The stadium really does look more complete, and um, you know, it's just superb now, it really is. Totally enclosed, absolutely wonderful. That little job cost us 38 million pounds. An incredible amount of money, I'm sure you'll agree. But with the revenue those 4,000 people bring every week, obviously we, we could make it 80, 90,000, we'd still fill it. But um, the extra money they bring with ticket sales, with merchandising, food and drink, etc., programs, it's, it's really paying for itself, really. And it's a great investment and a job well done. So, uh, excellent. Now, the actual pitch is wonderful, isn't it? Now, I can't believe. Uh, I'm just looking around because it's my first tour of the day, obviously. I'm just making sure I get my facts right. Um, it looks absolutely wonderful, doesn't it? It's the last game of the season here tomorrow. <laughs> Look at that. It's like a carpet. <laughs> Amazing. It really is. Full credit to the, the ground staff who worked very hard indeed. Now, it's actually 100% natural grass, the finest quality ryegrass, which came from Rotherham in Yorkshire seven years ago. That's when it was laid. Usually in the summer, we take off the top layer and we reseed. Obviously, it's different this year because we have the Olympics here, the football. But um, it's absolutely wonderful. Now, we have lots of machines and equipment to help nurture that grass. Normally, we have great big machines visible, which are on wheels. Obviously, they're away because we've got the game tomorrow. But they're actually very big sunbeds. And they're fully portable. And they provide sunlight wherever and whenever it's needed. <coughs> Excuse me. And also, below the surface, we have 20 sprinklers. Now, they're very, very fine indeed. You can't see any evidence of them. Anybody here for the game tomorrow? Well, I assure you, you'll definitely see them tomorrow. They, they pop up out of the ground, they sprinkle, and then they disappear. 
A lady on my tour yesterday said that sounds like my husband. But anyway, <laughs> they are there. Thank you very much. Welcome, guys. And they work very well. It's all done by computer. Now, when the temperature drops, like everybody else, we would, hello there, we would turn on our central heating system. Ours is a little more complex. 18 and a half miles of plastic pipe below the surface with hot water going through. When we turn it on, it's the heat. Now, any snow, any ice, etc., on the pitch is melted, obviously, and the pitch actually slopes from the centre circle down to the sides here, and you can see how it slopes, so any excess water will drain off at the sides of the pitch. That's the idea, anyway. It works very well, and I'm sure you'll agree it's a wonderful playing surface, which measures 105 by 68 metres. Okay? Any questions? Finally, anybody on the tour would anybody admit to being rich or well off? <coughs> <Okay>. <coughs> Now, when you are, you might be able to buy one of the boxes. Well, you rent them, you buy them per season, and um, those are the glass windows all the way along here. Has anybody ever been in one of our boxes? No? Okay, well, I'll tell you. I won't use the word basic, because there's nothing basic about them, but they start over there. The standard box will seat about eight, well, it seats eight people, and it's in that corner there. Now, as we move around here, they increase in size and capacity, but they also increase in price. Now, this is per season. They start at just over £20,000. As we move around, it's 20-odd, 30-odd, 40-odd. By the time we get to behind you here, it's about £67,000. And when we get to the end, there are those very big, <coughs> shiny windows there at the top of the range. Now, they see 25 people in absolute luxury, OK? Now, when you split it between you, I suppose the £216,000 doesn't sound too bad. But, um, it, as you can imagine, for that kind of money, it's fine dining, fine wine, entertainment, all the latest gadgetry. It's absolutely amazing, and you're very, very lucky indeed if you're in there. It's truly amazing. What an experience. But people do rent them out for, per game, etc. Companies buy them to entertain their clients, and one or two players bought them. Now, they did buy them, they weren't given them. That's no hardship, let's be honest, they can afford them. But let me reassure you, ladies and gentlemen, whichever box you do decide on today, it doesn't matter which box it is, you will be given a free match day programme for every game. Each. <laughs> so you don't need to worry about that. Okay? So, um, anyway, you can imagine what you get for £216,000. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, we're going to go over there to the East Stand, an absolutely brilliant place for photographs. As I said, I'll help with any if you'd like me to and I'll explain a little more. Okay, we all ready then? If we could move out, let me see if this door's open.